cylinder three. I don't think this is working right. It's, <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> Look at this. Tell me, is it wake up in the air? Rapper scattered off the gear. I can map him, get the yeah, ears like a tracker. Get distracted, send him back like in the mail. Not a fraction of them real. Catch him lack and run the drill. Bro, running through the shit like a motherfucking day. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Nolan Industries. Um, this one's pretty fun. We're just going to be inspecting the 180. Um, so the 180 has been vaping out the catch can ever since I went to that lakeside event and it's been getting an th absolute thrashing for the last couple of years now. So we're going to check the compression and hope for the best that it's still reasonable. Um, we'll just see what happens. I'm not going to say anything about it because I don't want to jinx it and I want it to be good still. <laughs> but it has, it is, um, it is actually hard to believe that that is a stock RB25 Series 2 unopened. So completely unopened since I bought it um, secondhand out of a drift car as well so I don't know sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't but I definitely got lucky with this RB in the 180 um, so yeah if you're keeping up the channel a lot has changed Zara and myself um, just had a baby boy and yeah so happy um, it's been crazy it's day four now or day three I don't even know I've lost track um, it's been absolutely amazing any of you guys that have kids will know the feelings and yeah it's just freaking awesome so super excited for baby lorenzo to grow up and um get into the shed with me and you know anything around the yard and just like ah oh, so much cool stuff to come so excited for that but um in the meantime i'm going to be trying to do youtube as well so it's going to be even harder i have taken some time off work at the moment which is sick um and it's really nice just to be at home with zara and the baby and just relax um, but I have come down to the shed for the first time in four days um, to do some work. So first thing we're going to do is take the mower out. And if you haven't seen that episode, make sure you check that one out because that's a banger. I'm going to take the mower out, put it up in its new home up under the house because I've got to keep it, like, keep it close because I don't want anyone stealing it. Got to keep it like on lockdown. Uh, move that out, raise this up a little bit so I can get the 180 in here because we're pretty full. We've still got the S13 in here that I haven't started playing around with. And then the FC that's maybe, maybe going to be a father-son project car. I don't know because that's like a long way before he can touch it. Um, I'm sure I'll start it before he gets to that age. But, um, oh, one other thing as well. Just got a cool little, um, little um, parcel in the mail here. Let's open that up. Look how sick this design is. It's white and pink. Uh, there's a bunch of designs. That's Mike Lake's channel. So if you haven't seen Mike Lake, he's a drifter in Melbourne and he is freaking sick. Um, make sure you go check out his page if you haven't already. The dude's um, banging out some awesome drifting content. So if you like my stuff, you'll like his stuff. Um, he's got the BMWs. Um, like if you want to know anything about a BMW, you probably should ask him. And yeah, so check out his stuff and he's got fr some freaking awesome merch just dropped. So go check that out. I'll definitely be wearing this out. I got a white one because I want to wear it out to events where I'm not working on cars and dirtying it. Um, but yeah, that's sick. So thanks heaps to Mike Lake. Check him out. Um, the link will be in the description. Let's get stuck into some actual car action. I'm super pumped because it's been a while. Okay, this is the vaping that I'm talking about. try and capture it on camera, it's hard to see. See that vaping coming out of here? So yeah, you can see vaping straight out of there. Yeah, which would say that it's got a lot of blow by. Um, Cause that catch can is a really well made one that actually catches the oil and then I guess the fumes are just blowing out so it's not nice I'm just gonna let this run for a bit because I just started the first time in a couple of weeks but this is the 180SX if you're not up to date with the channel um, it's 469 horsepower RV25 stock motor with a few extra bolt-ons she's really dirty I'm gonna get 
um, Nathan from Codex to give it a detail. We'll get these wheels looking pretty again. They look good on camera, but they're really dirty. But yeah, this car is just absolutely beautiful. I love it so much. I love this car. I'm just gonna let it warm up and then do the compression test. I've been putting this off for a while, but I think it's time to actually find out what the compression is. Let's give it a go, eh? Okay, listen to that turbo. She was just spinning down. All right, so I, I warmed it up to try and improve my numbers on this test. Um, <laughs> it's like some smoke coming off this, um, this turbo here. Hmm, that's interesting. Might have a little water leak in here somewhere. I love that I only half put that on. It's nice and easy to get off. Oh, this thing's actually smoking. Why is that smoking? It's not meant to smoke. Usually that means there's a coolant leak, which it looks like there actually is right there. So I'll nip that one in the butt. I think the coolant was like dripping a little bit into there and that's heating up and smoking. Obviously that's not the smoke problem that's coming out of the catch can, just another one. <laughs> um, so what I need to do is disconnect the harness, remove the coil packs and then remove the spark plugs one at a time. And then you put the tester on, which looks like and then you put the compression tester on that looks like this um, it just screws on to where your spark plug goes and screws in the same hole and then it's a pressure gauge so it measures the pressure inside your engine so that gives you a gauge on the pressure because you want to hold a lot of pressure as it pushes up you want your rings around the top of your pistons to be nice and sealed so that the pressure stays in there but if they're um, if they're worn out and they're not holding pressure which is what it probably is because the blow by it's blowing past the rings um, then in that case you'll get less pressure so on RBs a turbo RB I'm hoping for around 150 160 um, I'm expecting <laughs> probably 140 um, if it's 140, I'll still be happy. Anything lower than that, not a good time. The worst part, um, the only time it's really bad is if there's a massive difference between a couple of them. So if you have them all very low, it's still gonna be okay. Um, not gonna be the best. It's still gonna make less power than if you have full compression. But yeah, you don't want one at 150 and one at 100. That's when you're gonna have some real big issues, which is what was on the RB20 that was came in the Skyline. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna start pulling this apart and chuck this tester in there. And what you do is you turn over the key and then um, it turns over and it goes doo -doo 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 -doo, and then yeah. And if you stick around, I may even take the 180 for another test drive just up the hill and back. But you gotta make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment below and hit the subscribe button. So I ran out of time yesterday, but it's a new day. And um, what we have planned for today is to get that compression test done. But then also, first up, I'm going to go take the 180 down to Codex um, to get detailed from Nathan. And, yeah, get it ready for the car meet that's on tonight. Yeah, tonight. Time's going so fast at the moment on holidays. I don't even know what day it is. Um, but, yeah, going to let the chickens out now. Just a quick little update on them because you, you guys haven't seen them in a while. Unless you're on my Instagram. We've got all the little baby chicks here are growing up. And then if you don't want to see chicken stuff, just skip like five minutes or, so. or skip two minutes. You won't have to see it. We've got the big ducks in here. They get, they're just huge now. Go, 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 go. They do the little run up the hill. One of our ducks was really sick, but Zara nursed her back to health. And now she's all good. This one's a bit... We got this rooster that's always on his toes, ready to take take on anyone. And then we had a few snakes, so we had to move the smaller ducks down here. 
Well, they're not so small anymore. They're actually huge. Look at them. They're full-size ducks now. I'll get them out in a minute. All these guys. Off you go. <laughs> and we've got a few in there sitting on eggs. So these ducks are that big now. There's stairs in there and they can't get back down. They can get up, but they can't get back down. So I have to lift them out. I'm gonna try and train them to sleep with the big ducks. But for now, this is how I do it. Yeah, look at the size of them. They're like full-size ducks now. They were little ducklings like just the other day. All right. So that's a little update on the animals. Uh, we've also got baby kittens that um, our cat gave birth to. And then obviously baby Lorenzo. I'll have to show him on the channel soon. Um, oh, we got an egg in there. But yeah, heading down to the shed now. And we're going to... Um, Take the 180 up to Codex. First time driving it as a dad. So we'll see how my driving is. I'm pretty sure I'll just drive exactly the same. Um, I'm a pretty responsible driver anyway. So let's get in the car and shoot on. Bloody hot today, so it's going to be hot in the 180. I haven't driven in ages. Pretty keen. Tell you what, it feels good to be back in the beast. Haven't been in here for a few weeks now. Um, Super keen to go for a drive, let's go and hit the road, eh? Alright, so yeah, she's still vaping out the bonnet. I don't think you can really see, but definitely vaping. Before when I took off, there was all this like smoke coming out of here, and I was like, oh shit, that's not good. But it's stopped, so it's fixed itself. Like TJ Hunt always says, we can keep moving forward. Almost there. I'm starting to sweat because it's bloody hot. But we could have had a GoPro on the on the bloody back so you could actually hear and see. Um, but yeah, it's a bit dangerous driving while filming. So stopped at the lights at the moment. I'll um, do an update when we get there. All right, just made it to Kotex. If you guys haven't seen already, I come down here quite often. Nathan is a pro at getting my wheels looking absolutely immaculate. Because, yeah, with the white wheels, they get super dirty. Um, so, yeah, he's the man when it comes to that. And it's, like, it's pretty yuck because it sits under the house. And because um, it's a wooden house on stilts, all the, like, wooden shavings fall down and go all over the car. Like you can see on here, it's just, it's not pretty. So, he's going to get it looking all nice, all nice again. And um, we're just going to do a little time lapse here. From a thousand fires, I'm gonna kiss you wherever you are, and I'm gonna miss you. I will never lie. Come here whenever you need someone. God damn! Nathan smashed out another detail. Look at the wheels, though. Like far out. It just comes out so good every time. And this dude is a weapon. Make sure you hit up. Codex if you want to get your car detailed do like the ceramic coating and Everything to make your car look beautiful again Check out on Facebook and Instagram I'll put the um, thing in the description now we're gonna drive home and do that compression test and fingers crossed What do you think it's gonna be? You think it's gonna be all good? No. No? Not after <laughs> that stall incident on the way in. Oh yeah, it's stalled. <laughs> yeah. It's vaping pretty hard. Yeah. Dude, I ran it like that whole lakeside event with like half oil. There was only half oil in it. I forgot to check the oil. 
Well, I ran out of time. I was busy. You ran out of time to make sure your card didn't have the one thing that it needs more than absolutely <laughs> anything else. Yeah. Did you have enough time to check that? Yeah, no. That's good. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I could have um could have shot myself on the foot there, most likely, but I don't know. It's an RB, they're cheap as. We reckon race car driver would say Pit Crew said that also. Oh fuck. Oil, you didn't have time to do yeah. that. Dude, when I did the engine swap, I chose an RV because at the time they were a thousand dollars and now you can't even find them, let alone get one for a thousand. So I don't know. We'll yeah, see. I'm not gonna worry about it until the compression test comes back. Um, but yeah, let's go find out. Okay, so the time has come. Finally, let's see what this um, compression test shows. I'm just going to remove the harness. Pretty easy, just a couple of plugs. They just pop off like that. Get that out of the way. And then a couple of bolts through here. Loosen those off and the coils will come out. And you'll see that right now. Jungle of love. taking the coil packs out and not a good start there's a bunch of oil here sitting in the spark plug gallery um, I don't know if that's what it's called but yeah there's a shit ton of oil just sitting in here I don't know where it's come from but it's in the center of the engine normally if it was like in this one I'd say it's just some overspill um, from filling up but it's definitely not in that one it is in the center too and normally on RBs, your um, number six will be the worst, but this is like in the middle, so. I don't know, I'm just gonna clean that out and then do the compression test and see what we got. All right, so I just located where my fuel pump fuse was, um, and yep, disconnected that one, so now the fuel pump won't prime while we're trying to do this. Um, yeah, let's go. I'm I'm definitely worried about this. I didn't want to see that oil sitting there. It does not look good at all. But this motor has been doing me good. Let's just find out, eh? All right, cylinder one. Wow. Wow. Okay, so cylinder one is 100. Are you serious? That is like... That's like so bloody low. Surely that's not right. Surely. All right, let's go to number two. A hundred again. Cylinder two is one hundred, or pretty much a hundred, like ninety-eight. 99. They're not even the ones I was worried about. I was worried about the two in the middle that had the, all the oil sitting there. Alright, cylinder three. I don't think this is working right. It's, it doesn't make sense. Look at this. This is one of the ones with the oil. Mate, she's on 60? Mate, she's bloody low on that one. Jesus. Alright, so... It's looking like we're going to be doing a rebuild on the RV25. It's done well though. I can't be, I can't be upset. It's done really well. It's crazy how much power this thing still makes. Like, it's running like it's bloody rebuilt. I don't understand. It's freaking insane. Like, it's bloody quick. Number four. Oh my god. It's a hundred. One hundred. That's a lot better. That's the one that looked the worst with the most oil in it. What is going on? A hundred super low. It should be like 150. Or just under. Go the back ones. Okay, this is number five. I'll properly disconnect the fuel pump now. So, 
Don't think that's going to change much, but anyway, let's go number five. Yeah, no, she's still at 100. All right, this is number six. This is normally the one that gets you, but I've already been got, so we'll see what happens. So on the six is 100 as well. So I'm going to retest those other ones and hope that I, something was wrong. I don't know. If they're all 100, it's all right. It's not best, but it doesn't really make sense. I think it was this one here. It was either that one or that one. I'm going to retest these two and see if there's any difference. All right, I've just tested it again um, with the fuel pump disconnected and I turned it over for a little bit longer because I can't actually see the gauge. It's, it's good job to do with two people someone can say stop when it stops going any higher but um, it's gone up to 100 so that's freaking sick that was on the one that did like um, 60 before so I'm gonna take it off here and then do this other one that was also low and I reckon they're all gonna be a hundred well my theory was wrong that one is on 60 so cylinder 3 is cooked um, definitely needs a rebuild which is bad news. Like my mate Tom, he loves build, rebuilding engines, and um, if everyone sends a message and says, can you please go rebuild James Nolan's engine, he may just do it. So, um, I'll put his link in the description below. <laughs> nah, but um, we will need to get this out and rebuild it at some stage. Uh, it'll be a cool learning curve, because I've still never rebuilt an engine before, and it should be just basic, because when I went to do the LS1 that time, it was meant to be a basic rebuild, but it ended up being a freaking not rebuilt at all, just throwing the bin. Um, but yeah, so it's, it's still, it makes good power still, um, but it's really not ideal. So I probably shouldn't be thrashing it out at the track and stuff. I'm still going to go to the car meet tonight, um, just down the road. I'm still going to be doing pulls in it, but I probably shouldn't. And I should probably take it out and rebuild it and replace those piston seals and a few other things and put it all back together. And while I'm there, I should be doing a head gasket and um, head studs as well. I haven't needed it, so I really, I don't know. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do. That'll be on another episode and you can look forward to seeing that. But that's a wrap for this one. Um, thanks for watching guys. Make sure you hit the like button, drop a comment below and subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, I'll see you on the next episode.